St. Georg and Boy, Buttenheimer, Kellerbeer. to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands Bikes and Booze Reviews. If you hear a dog crying, that is Percy. He's in doggy jail. He went into the bin today and I got just got back from shopping and the whole kitchen was just covered in rubbish where he'd been trying to get at a tuna can. And the last time he got at a tuna can, he cut his lip, his inside lip, and there was blood everywhere, and we had to take him to the vet. And he thought it was a great adventure. There was nothing wrong with him. He just had a little cut which kept bleeding, and that was that. And he's a little git, so he's in jail now, right, in his, in his little cage. So he's probably crying his eyes out, and especially as I've got some of this stuff. Now this is the St. Georgen Boy, Buttenheimer Keller beer. Now, you've probably seen all the videos, of the Hellas, I've done the shootout with Augustina, and it's as good as Augustina, their Hellas, so that's saying something, when you're comparing it to the best lager in the world, and it equals it, then this lot know how to brew a beer. But, from researching the brewery, this stuff, the Keller beer, everybody raves on about it, says this is the jewel in their crown, not the Hellas, and I'm thinking, well, fucking hell, that Hellas was amazing. What is this gonna taste like? I'm probably gonna be let down, because the hype, as the old saying goes, don't believe the hype. But it comes from a really good brewery. And when I say good, I mean I've tried the Hellas and they've got that spot on. And I'm gonna to have to try and get some more of this stuff because it's just top of the shop. It really is what the Hellas is anyway. And I'm gonna shut up about it because I know I keep going on about it. But this is their Keller beer. Now what is a Keller beer? Of course, I've gone over it a lot of times in videos, but I'll quickly go over it again. <clears throat> Keller beer is basically unfiltered, unpasteurized lager. And this is how lager was served up back in the day, even as recent as the early, early 20th century. It's a fairly recent thing where beer has been filtered to get all the cloudiness out from it. Cloudy beer has got a bit of a bad, re well, in the UK anyway, it got a bit of a bad reputation, so, and that's because generally cloudy ale is sort of frown was frown uh, frowned upon of course that's all gone out the window now with craft beer because their their big thing now is selling unfiltered and unpasteurized beer and there's there is something to it as well i think when you filter beer if you don't do it properly then you do take away a lot of the flavor so there is a an argument for serving beer like this and certainly for wheat beer you would not really want to you, you can they do it they call it crystal vise and and to be honest it's okay, it's nice, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's as good as the, the Nature Trube, as they call it in Germany, which is basically the, the cloudy beer. But that's what Keller beer is. Now, this has got a lot going for it, and it's a genuine Bavarian beer. It's got the, the mark on there, and it's from a place called Buttenheim, hence the name Buttenheimer Keller beer. And it's a region that is located quite near Bamberg, between Bamberg and Nuremberg, very small, tiny hamlet type village type thing. And the brewery is family owned. It's quite a small concern, but if they can get the beer over here, then they're doing okay. It's hard to track down. Now on the last video where I did the shootout, I had to put some links in because a lot of people saw the review of the Hellas and they wanted to buy it, but they were having trouble finding it online. I put some links in there, so hopefully, and I've looked on these sites, House Trembling Madness, Beer Sniffers, um, Hot Burns and Black, and I think it was another site as well, I can't remember, it's got off the top of my head. But they did some other St. Gilg and Broy, mainly the Keller beer. So I think, as far as I can tell, they're the only two that are available over here. But they do a, they do a Dunkel as well, and they do some, some other beers as well. So I'm going to try and drink the lot and tell you what I think of them. 
but for now we've got Keller beer. Now, the best Keller beer I've tasted, in my opinion, I think is the Hackershaw Keller beer. It just, I don't know, I, I can't put it into words how tasty and Moorish it is. And the reason I like it so much, I did a review of it and I thought, yeah, it's great. But House, uh, not House of Trembling Madness, it was Beers of Europe. They used to substitute quite a lot of beers. When I'd order them, they didn't have any stock or they were they were out of date. They would substitute it with the Hackershaw Keller beer. And I went through a phase of getting parcels from them and there would always be a bottle of it. And I would absolutely love it. So for me, the Hackershaw stuff at the moment is the best. So let's see how this lot fares up. Right, before we go into that, it is a 500ml bottle. It is known as the Builder's Half Litre, these bottles, old style bottles. It's 4.9%. The beer obviously conforms to the Reinhardtsker bot where it comes from Bavaria, and it says so on the bottle. There is no, it's all in German. I should have researched this, but it's just the, it's, yeah, it's going on about cloudy, unfiltered, unpasteurized and it's traditional, yeah, and it's aromatic hops, uh, or aroma hops, and uh, original St. Georgian Boy Keller, traditional malt, etc. So yeah, there's not much in the way of a brew sheet, but it just does contain hops, yeast, malted barley, and a brau wasser, as they call it, which is basically spring water. Nice little label on there, So George and a Dragon, Oh, Christ almighty, autofocus, do your job. There you go. West Ham are doing all right. Beat Man City last night in the, was it the Carburetta Cup, I call it. I can't pronounce it. Caraboa or something, is it? Beat them on penalties, 5-3. I am well chuffed with that. And so, as a, as a way of celebrating, I thought I'd review this one. So let's shut up and let's get it on and see what's going on. Here is the Aldi cap. Can you see that? That's St. George and the Dragon. Nice cap. I do like that cap. And I've just remembered I haven't put my microphone on. What an absolute bell end. And the reason for that is, apart from being old and fucking senile, is I am so excited to try this beer. Now I'm trying it out of one of these. This is a, a Guinness type tankard, but Keller beer occasionally is served in glasses like this. I don't normally use this a lot, certainly don't use it for Guinness, and I haven't used it in a while, and it is not very clean, I can tell you that. I went shopping today, I went posh shopping in Morrison's, fuck me, that is dirty, <laughs> he's absolutely filthy. Uh, I've got some of the Aerial, is it Aerial? Yeah, dishwasher tablets, and uh, they're the ones that do clean glasses very well indeed. Now, just like the lager, that is quite a dark amber colour and that's everything gone in there looks quite nice apart from the filthy fucking glass but what are we getting on the nose yeah and again it's like it was with the with the hellas you do get a nice big malty aroma from it but there is and i always get this on keller beer as well there's a sourness to keller beer and i I always say that it's subtle, but I can pick it up, and it's quite nice, in my opinion, and I'm sure that's coming from the unfiltered and unpasteurized nature of the beer and the yeast cells in it. Now, here's a perfect example of, you know, when I talk about glassware, people think, oh, you're a ponce, you don't know what you're fucking talking about. When I say dirty glasses will dissipate ahead really quickly, there's your, there's your evidence. See what it's done? That was a quite a dirty glass and it's been sat up there for a while and I should have really cleaned it beforehand but I didn't but it just goes to prove my point that head is more or less dissipated now so yeah as if you need proof there it is but oh it does smell good it's got that lovely sweet malt the caramel almost caramel style malt that you get in the Hellas which I suppose is basically what it is it's just that but unfiltered so I imagine this is going to be an absolute belter. Let's get it down the hatch. Oh, 
Prost, as they say in Germany. Oh, oh, that is exceptional. Again, wow. Oh, this is lovely. It's just like the Hellas, but more intense, if you can imagine that, which stands to reason because it's unfiltered and unpasteurized. Wow, and that's cold, it's just come out of the fridge, the way Keller beer should be drunk. Wow, wow. Oh, it's that lovely sweet malt. And a little bit of hop character on there as well. I'm gonna go out and say this is better than the Hackershaw. It's just them intense malts. The intense malt that they've got on the, on the Hellas is in this as well. Now, some people may say they prefer the Augustina. I had one subscriber today who said he actually didn't like it because it was a little bit too citrusy. Christ almighty, if you think Augustina is citrusy, what are you gonna think of American craft beers or American style craft beers? This is all about the malt though. So again, if you're not a fan of Pilsners, you know that bitter flavor you get on Pilsners, but you're like a Hellas. And again, I'm gonna go back to what a subscriber said about that video. He said he finds Hellas is bland. I, I do get that. There are Hellas's out there that are run of the mill, especially the ones over here brewed by craft brewers, English brewed Hellas's, and some German ones to be fair as well. They can be a little bit bland, but you cannot say that this is bland and you cannot say that the, the Hellas that they do is bland. In fact, this is even more intense There's a little element of sourness on that. I do get that. It's very, very subtle, but I can get it like a good Keller beer should be. But again, the malt on this is just dominant. And the finish lingers and lingers and lingers, just like the Hellas. This is amazing stuff. This, hands down, I'm not even gonna do a shootout with Hackershaw. This, hands down, is the best Keller beer, German brewed Keller beer. I've tasted so far. Better than the Paulana Keller beer, for sure, definitely. Better than the Aktion Brewery Zwickel beer, Zwickel beer, however it's pronounced, I can't pronounce it, but that's got a good reputation. It's better than that. This, for me, is the ultimate Keller beer. This is gonna be the standard I compare all other Keller beers to. It's just superb. It's like their Hellas on steroids. Oh, it is out of this world. It's really good. It's just the malt in that. I don't think, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I don't think there is a brewer from Bavaria that has got more intense of that liquid bread style flavor. I can't think of one. But it's that and it's the finish. It just lingers and lingers and lingers. And it's absolutely amazing. I defy anybody to say that this is bland. Well, if you do, you've got COVID. That's the only thing, that's the only conclusion I can come with because this is just amazing. I love it. And there is a little bit of the hop character coming through on there now. Quite, quite herbal type grassy notes, if you can imagine that, mixed with very sweet malts, which this herbal type bitterness, it rounds off to be perfectly balanced. Well, I say perfectly balanced, the malt is huge. The finish is probably what's doing it actually. It's quite balanced in the mouth, but the finish is just pure liquid bread, that caramel, bordering on caramel, style flavor. I think they've roasted these a little bit longer, but they've got it just right. It's bordering on what a dunkel tastes like, but it's not as intense as a dunkel, but it's still got the flavor and it's lovely. If you like the Hellas, you are gonna absolutely love this because this is the Hellas on steroids and it's amazing. And for me, this is the best Keller beer I 
have ever tasted. So what is the verdict on St. Georgen Boy Buttenheimer Kellerbier? In a word, excellent. This is the best of the best. This for me is the ultimate Kellerbier. I don't think you will taste a better Kellerbier. Now, Hackershaw is very good and I've got a fair amount of experience with that and it's very nice indeed. And I will definitely buy Hackershaw Kellerbier again and I would actually go out of my way to buy it. But this stuff is always gonna win, in my opinion. It's absolutely superb. I didn't really wanna believe the hype because, you know, all the, uh, there's, a, there's, um, uh, what is the, there's a blog called Beer Wonder, I think it is. And it's basically some hikers going around Bavaria. They stop off at the St. Gorgon Boy Brewery, have something to eat, and they say that they all their beers are good, but you have to try the Keller beer. And I went for the Hellas first, and I absolutely love this, and I'm glad I did, because this is just it, this is just blown me away. This is this is like the Hellas on steroids. It's lovely. It's amazing, and this lot are rapidly becoming one of my favourite Bavarian brewers. Now, that's saying something when you consider that there are some absolutely phenomenal brewers in Bavaria. I mean, it really is. And Franconia as well, you know, there's over 200 breweries there. To be able to stand out amongst all that lot with two absolutely amazing beers for me in that region is, is some feat, it really is. And I know they're a small brewery and they're family run, so they, they do have a care when they brew. They're not brewing on the, the same scale as Hofbrau and Hackershaw maybe, and even, you know, Lervenbroy, who are, you know, ABM Bev backed. But, and it goes back to my old saying about, you know, paying a lot of money for beer, for good beer. You don't have to if you know what you're buying or you know where to go. I see, uh, who's the little Welsh fella? What's his name? Um, Real Owl Craft Beer. He was reviewing uh, craft beer. I can't remember who it was from. But it's £3.50 a can for a three thirty mil can of, I think it was an American, style. Well, it's always an American style IPA, isn't it? £3.50 for that. And I think you could buy this. How much was this? I will tell you in one second because House of Trembling Madness, unlike Beers of Europe, give you a fucking price list. So the Keller beer, St. Georgen Boy, Buttenheimer Keller beer, 2.55. So a pound cheaper. You know, it, it, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna say it's a no brainer. All I'm gonna say is if you're paying three pound 50 for a 330 mil can of, in my opinion, amateur brewed beer compared to this, then, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you how to spend your money, but you're doing it wrong, basically. If you want good beer, good beer is not expensive. It's just you need to know where to look for it. That's the bottom line. But this is great. That for me is, I don't even need to say it's a 10 out of 10. It's the best Keller beer I've tasted from rapidly what is becoming one of my favorite brewers from Bavaria. Yeah, it's just spurred me on now to buy everything I can, possibly can from their range. Amazing stuff, I might even write to them, like a little fanboy going, I love your beer, give me your autographs. <laughs> Do you think they'll give me some free beer? <laughs> probably not. I'll probably look at my attempts at pronouncing some German words and say this geezer's a fucking dick which they wouldn't be too far wrong from, to be honest. I'm just looking at the labels here. They're, they're really artistic labels as well. Look, you've got some, some little geezer who's got an haircut that looks like his mum's done it after a few sherries. Don't know what the fuck he's doing. You've got St. George on his horse, killing the dragon. Of course, the dragon is symbolic. That he didn't actually kill a dragon. And what is that on the side? Yeah, it, it looks like a cellar. There's a fucking fire there and all. So yeah. Lots of shenanigans going on in a brewery. 1600s, uh, 1628, I think they they can trace their lineage back to. Amazing stuff. For me, 10 out of 10, the best Keller beer you will ever try 
one of the best beers to come out of the out of Bavaria, in my opinion. One of my favourite breweries. What more can I say? Apart from beer is working class champagne. <laughs>